Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Everyone having a good day, good week, good everything. Uh, you know, it's been a little rough <laughs> these last two weeks. I lost two videos of footage, uh, of editing footage, so if you find our SD card somewhere, you know, that would be kind of cool, but it's okay. It has been really hard, but we're gonna get through this with you guys and I'm gonna redo things and it's gonna be great and it's okay because I actually got a better camera and all that jazz and I will talk to y'all about that later, but yeah. So today I am going to be making frappuccinos. I'm gonna make a caramel frappuccino and I'm gonna make a chocolate frappuccino. And I'm just gonna jump right into this and we're gonna start with making two shots, not vodka. Okay. So I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit since we are making a cool drink. Okay, okay, okay. So, with that, I'm gonna start off with the milk. I like whole milk. I don't normally use alternative milk. But if I do, it's oat milk. And it's three ounces of milk. Maybe four, can't really tell. Okay, three ounces of milk. And then we're doing chocolate first. So I put in chocolate. Work. You guys gotta make sure this works. Squish, squish. All the good sounds, guys. And I'm putting two tablespoons of chocolate because I can. And also, I don't know, frappuccino usually I feel like is a... Sorry, technical difficulties. I feel like frappuccino should always be like a sugary drink, I guess. I don't normally, like, normally on day to day I don't do this, but if I'm gonna do it, I mean, go big or go home, right? So, it's good. Just making sure it's good. And this isn't working, so I'm just gonna... Hope for the best. It's two tablespoons, guys. So there's that. And then what's the next thing? Oh yeah. So the biggest part of a frappuccino, before I keep going, is usually you, when you make frappuccinos, it kind of like all tears apart and it looks gross. Now, to keep it all together, the solution is xantum gum. Xantum gum is what like keeps the frappuccino all together. It's what actually what Starbucks uses. So yeah, xantum gum guys. And you make, you essentially make like a paste for it, but you could also just like throw it all together. And you grab three tablespoons of, wait, what? Is it three tablespoons of simple syrup? Yeah, three tablespoons of simple syrup. And then one fourth teaspoon of xantum gum. You don't need a lot of it, but if you like frappuccino in your day-to-day -day life, xantum gum will be a good investment. All the mess. Okay. Now I'll ask my beautiful camera lady to get me a cup of ice. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Cause you need a whole cup of it, and I'm gonna make two of them. Don't do this at home. Okay, so good. Throw in the shots. Hopefully, it's not. They're not too crazy. And then ice, 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 ice. Oh, and I'm using my Ninja for this. Um, I think. It's good to have a good blender. Oh no, did I put too much ice? I did. Whoops. Sorry guys. I'm just, you know, having a great time. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm gonna make a lot of noise now. So yeah, I'm using my single serving, my Ninja. One, two, three, noise. Okay, 
I'm gonna make the cup all pretty too. I'm gonna move everything out of the way. Also, this is like... I don't know, I kinda... I, I think Ghirardelli is not as sweet as other chocolates. I'm supposed to be a barista, guys. Yeah. I haven't done this in a long time, actually. Like, blind cup with chocolate. So yeah, I think Ghirardelli is one of my top faves. Ooh, this actually came out really nice. And I don't have like a whipped cream maker, so I'm kind of cheating and I apologize. Uh, but yeah, I'm using Ready Whip. So that's a chocolate one. I guess I go to taste it now. This actually came out pretty cool. Okay, time to reset now. And I'm gonna make caramel now. <laughs> okay, we are back and I already made my two shots cause you don't need to see that twice. And I'm gonna start over. And this time it's gonna be caramel. And I'm not gonna be extra like Joshua Wiseman with <laughs> flaky salt because that's what camera lady she's like we should do that and i'm like eh i like my flaky salt and salty foods yeah okay same thing that i'm gonna put a lot of caramel because why not this caramel's gonna yeah i had a feeling i'm like it's gonna be not as hard okay yuck okay now the xanthan gum stuffs, stuff stuffs. I just love sugar so early in the morning. It's not that early guys. I just like to be exaggerated. I like to exaggerate. That's three, right? Okay, three. And then one four, your one half. Oh, xanthums. Xanthamy zam, xanthum. Oh, and if you're cur curious where I found Xantum gum, Amazon. <sighs> I hate it, but on Amazon you find all the things like that you don't think like, oh, that definitely won't be in a grocery store. Amazon. The two shots. Now I'm gonna put. Kind of a cup. I did everything else right. Ooh. I think I did that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw this in here and I'm about to make a lot of noise. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna try and make it pretty, but it's a little hard because I don't have like a syrupy bottle. This is just kind of like, Dear Lord, I just really want some sugar in my body today, guys. Fun, fun, fun. Camera lady is like, you're good, you're fine. Please, dear God, don't spill this. Throw that in there. Ooh. Wait, cream, cream. Should I put some caramel on top? Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm using a straw this time, guys so I don't get it all over my face. Mmm, sugar. So that's all I got for you guys. This is how you make chocolate and caramel frappuccinos. I hope you guys are doing really well. If you enjoyed this, if you liked all the things that I'm doing, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe. I am gonna catch up on everything, but yeah, for now, this is all I got for you guys, and I hope you guys are doing really well, and till next time. Yeah, that's right.